Hey everybody, I'm back and time for yet another shave review. This time with another new soap for me, Declaration Group's Shore, one of their Project Icarus soaps. So as mentioned, this is one of their Project Icarus soaps. Um, comes in their normal tub, uh, no side labeling. Um, there's a little tab I put on there. Uh, it's, so, I did have the Santal Lost Air, and I piffed that away because the Enamolic smell just completely overpowered, to my nose, the sandalwood that was in there. Sandalwood is a very delicate scent, and it just, it, it, it wasn't pleasing to my nose. I piffed it off, the person who got it was really enjoying it, so that's the whole purpose of that. Um, with that being said, the soap base itself is the best soap base I've ever used. Uh, it is the perfect soap, at least that I've run into right now. Is there room for improvement? I don't know. I don't know that you can't improve on this. I'm sure you can, but I haven't seen anything out there that that can improve on this. This really, this literally scores perfect marks across the board for me. Um, it is a harder soap than their normal bison tallow line. And the reason being is the, the additional uh, stuff they have in there. So here are the ingredients uh, for the Project Icarus base. And as you can tell, there are three different types of animal fats in here. Uh, and, you know, as, as well as colloidal, colloidal oatmeal. For some reason, I always have a hard time saying that. And the moisturizing properties of this soap, the slickness, the residual, they, they're all off the charts for me. Um, uh, the label is waterproof and has, has, has a nice matte finish to it. It's not, not glossy. Uh, the, uh, the ingredients are right down here on the bottom label, which is also waterproof. So today what we're going to be using is my new declaration brush. This has been soaking. Been rinsed, it rinsed out, uh, wrung out, excuse me. And we're going to be using the Hartford Cutlery Extra Hollow Ground, let's say 5 8 razor. Now, I've got quite a bit of growth, uh, more than usual. I haven't shaved, it's uh, Sunday morning, I haven't shaved since uh, Wednesday afternoon. I've been traveling, so um, yeah. So, let me step over here, and we're going to go ahead and start this. So, again, normal setup. If you take a look at this, the handle on this brush was made by Wild West Shaving uh, Brushworks, Wild West Brushworks, and it's really a beautiful piece of acrylic, port acrylic. Um, nice and substantial. Um, Derek does very, very good stuff. So. I'm going to go ahead and start loading. So we're going to load for 30 seconds. It's probably going to be too much, but it's okay. Now, this is the second lather on this brush. Um, I am anticipating that it's going to be losing hairs. Not overly so, but it will be losing hairs now and then over the next few weeks and months um, as I get it bro more broken in and and, uh, and used. Alright. Lost track of time there, so not sure exactly how long that was. Hey, yeah. Hold on. Okay, we're back. I had to clean off the lens. So, we're going to go right into getting this lathered. No. This is, from my memory, an extremely thirsty soap. Um, in the 
the consistency is going to be a lot more loose. It's going to look a lot more loose than uh, a lot of people are used to. Um, it's already got a nice sheen to it. There was an easy tablespoon of uh, some two teaspoons worth of water in the bowl when I when I went to it. Um, that was the bloom water plus whatever water was left over from when I soaked the brush. I've already got that booger snot going, but it's, I can tell you right now, I already know it's not ready. This can take an incredible amount of water. Matter of fact, I haven't been able to break this soap. I'm sure you can. I mean, if you took and you poured a cup of water in there, it's going to break the soap. Um, and Three, two, one. What does the spray count? So, ten sprays. So, all in all, probably about four and a half teaspoons, maybe five teaspoons of water. There we go. Okay. All right, guys. So. The scent on this, I didn't really talk about the scent. So, uh, Declaration has made a stance, taken a stance that they don't want to list the scent notes for these new uh, um, Declaration soaps that they're coming out with. Um, uh, the the Chateau and Lux uh, soap bases, uh, they provide their own description. So, um, it's you generally, I mean, they give some some idea of what you're getting into. Uh, for sure, they just want to give you a descriptor of what it feels like, what it's to, to smell it. And I can smell where they're coming from with this. It does kind of give a beachy vibe, um, uh, as far as like maybe maybe a little bit of suntan lotion mixed in with uh, some uh, ocean spray. Um, the animalic smell that I was getting off of the Saint Austere is still there. However, this is not nearly as pronounced, not in any way, shape, or form. So, uh, if you guys are out there that uh, that's a huge deal, that's a deal breaker like it was for me with the Santel Austere, um, you shouldn't have to worry too much about this soap. Uh, the animal smell really isn't going to be overpowering to you. Um, trust me, if it was, I'd be really upset right now. Um, the only reason I ended up buying this soap is because everybody was saying that the animal smell was less. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead, uh, do my pre-shave, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. So let's get right into this. For those of you who don't know, my mirror is right down here, so that's the reason why I generally don't look at the camera too much. Um, camera is right here. So I can tell you, once you get this on the face, there is, you can still get the, you can sense the animalic smell is this, there. Um, not nearly as strong as the Santa Austere. Um, I actually took this a bit farther from the hydration standpoint than I was expecting. Um, but, a little bit of lathering on the face. We'll bring it right back to where it needs to be. And I know that the, all the 
properties that I'm going to need for a good shave are going to be there. So. As far as the brush is concerned, it feels great on the face. It's got good presence, which for me, presence is the combination of density and backbone. Um, so it's got good density, got good backbone. The tips are relatively soft right now. They're going to get softer as it goes. Um, I can tell you that it's not quite as dense as my Paladin J26. Um, it's about the same as my 28mm Eldorado. Um, and not, it's not as dense, quite as dense as my Brad Sears, which is the most dense brush in my deck. So, should be ready to go here. So let's get the Let's get this shape going. So, I couldn't have picked a better soap to do this shave with, with the amount of growth that I have. Providing enough lubricity, and the razor has got a good enough edge that it literally feels like I'm taking maybe two a day and a half, maybe two days worth of growth off. I don't have the tugging that. have otherwise with a uh, lesser soap. vacation was good, it was productive, it was good to get away from here, and it was even better to be able to spend it with people that I love. It wasn't long enough. It never is. Um, I will say right now, I'm sorry that the video is posting so late. Um, I obviously I'm recording right now, so I haven't had a chance to upload and render and do all that stuff. Uh, I gotta find time throughout the day to do so. So, as I do and as I find more time, I will get this video done and produced and uh, start up started uploading to YouTube. Um, I have no idea when that's gonna happen. Um, it might not be till tomorrow, uh, but I'm gonna try to shoot for today, uh, just depending on how work goes. So, yeah, that first pass felt really good. Uh, the residual slickness on this soap is off the charts. Um, I really don't even need to put water on my face, um, even though I did just rinse a little bit of the soap off. But even with that drying, 
I mean, it feels like I've got a, a full coat of layer on uh, lather on the, on my face, and it's just ridiculous. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the shave, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Finished up a nice three-pass shave with Declaration Grooming's Icarus Base Shore, and yeah, the soap's as good as I remember. It, it, there's no two ways around it. This is a, just a great soap. Um, it does score perfect marks. You know, 10 out of 10 for lathering, 10 out of 10 for cushion, 10 out of 10 for moisturizing, 10 out of 10 for stability, or five out of five for stability, excuse me. 10 out of 10 for residual slickness, 10 out of 10 for cushion, or slickness. It, it's, it scores 55 out of 55. Um, I will say that the anamalic base is there. Can detect it. However, it is not nearly as strong in relation to the scent notes as with Santal Austere, uh, sandalwood being a very delicate scent. So if you know, you're in the market, um, I do have another one of these uh, new Icarus releases to try. I have a sample of Contemplation, um, and that's more of a green scent. Uh, but do I enjoy this? Absolutely enjoy the heck out of it. Um, so we, just to recap what we used, um, we used the Hartford Cutlery Hollow Ground, extra hollow ground, this is a 5 8 razor. We used the Declaration Grooming. Brush, um, the, with the handle being done by Wild West Brushworks. Uh, Derek on Etsy does a great job. Uh, this is my third brush from him. He does excellent work for very reasonable, reasonable prices. And we followed up with the matching aftershave splash and St. Bart's uh, by Tommy Bahama. So, um, yeah, overall great shave. Uh, I'm hopefully I'm going to be back to my normal schedule. I was put pumping out videos every day. Uh, I'm probably going to tone that back to about one every other day and there's going to be reviews I, right now i have 10 soaps that i need to get through uh, that i've never tried before and then i'm going to start doing reviews on soaps video reviews on soaps that i haven't done video reviews on so i got plenty of soaps and yeah we'll see how it goes guys glad to be back um do miss my family wish i were there but uh glad to be back and making videos for you guys and if you haven't checked us out at the TSC, uh, come by the uh, www.theshavingcadre.com. Check out all the member videos. We've got some other members doing some outstanding work in the video form. Um, spider, uh, spider shaves for TSC, Dangerous Don, uh, Shaver Danger. Uh, so if you haven't checked those guys out, go ahead and do so. Come by the Shaving Cadre, check us out at www.theshavingcadre.com, and I'll see you there. Peace, guys. Thank you